Ever pondered why the Israel-Palestine conflict, a dispute that's been ongoing for more than a century, still remains unresolved? The truth is, the situation is far more complex than it might initially appear. It's a web of historical events, political ideologies, and socio-economic factors that have intertwined over the decades. The conflict is not simply about two groups vying for the same piece of land, it's about identity, self-determination, and survival. To truly understand the intricacies of this seemingly unending strife we must first familiarize ourselves with its historical context. Because to comprehend the present we must delve into the past. Rewind to the year 1917, the British government issued the Balfour Declaration, promising a national home for the Jewish people. This declaration, penned by Arthur James Balfour, the British Foreign Secretary, was a public statement expressing Britain's support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. It was a momentous event, marking the first time a world power had lent its backing to the Zionist movement. The British mandate over Palestine established by the League of Nations in 1922 was seen by the British as a means to fulfill their promise. The mandate system designed to administer territories seized from the Central Powers after World War I was now poised to shape the future of Palestine. Under the British mandate, Jewish immigration to Palestine increased significantly. The Jewish community, known as the Yishuv, began to establish economic and social structures in anticipation of statehood. However, this influx of Jewish immigrants was met with growing animosity from the Arab population. The Arab community which constituted the majority in Palestine, felt threatened by the demographic shift and the potential loss of their land. Tensions between the two communities escalated, leading to sporadic violence and communal strife. The British authorities found themselves in a precarious position, trying to balance the aspirations of the Jewish immigrants with the concerns of the Arab majority. This delicate balancing act, however, only served to intensify the conflict between the two groups. By the late 1930s, the British government began to backpedal on their promise, limiting Jewish immigration and land purchases in an attempt to appease the Arab populace. But the damage had been done. The seeds of conflict had been sown, and the stage was set for a struggle that would continue for decades. With the end of World War II, the struggle for control over Palestine intensified. In 1947, the United Nations approved the Partition Plan, leading to the birth of Israel in 1948. This plan proposed the creation of independent Arab and Jewish states with Jerusalem under international administration. The Jewish Agency for Palestine representing the Jewish community accepted this proposal. However, the Arab leaders representing the Palestinian Arab population rejected the plan, viewing it as an imposition on their rights and sovereignty. The rejection by the Arab leaders led to tensions and the outbreak of civil war in Palestine. In May 1948 upon the termination of the British mandate, Israel declared independence. This declaration was followed by an invasion by five Arab states. Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria, marking the beginning of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The war was intense and devastating with both sides suffering significant losses. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Israel managed to fend off the invading forces and even expanded its territory beyond the UN partition plan. By the time the armistice agreements were signed in 1949, Israel had established control over most of the territory initially earmarked for the Jewish state along with significant parts of the area allocated for the Arab state. The aftermath of the war was significant. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians fled or were expelled from their homes, leading to a refugee crisis that still resonates today. Israel's victory solidified its statehood but also ignited a lasting conflict with its Arab neighbors. The 1948 Arab-Israeli War marked a turning point in the Middle East. It not only led to the establishment of the State of Israel, but also set the stage for decades of tension and conflict in the region. The war left both physical and psychological scars, and the political fallout continues to shape the dynamics of the region. The conflict was far from over, and the seeds of discord had been sown. Fast forward to 1967, Israel, fearing an imminent attack, initiated the Six-Day War. This conflict, despite its brief duration, had far-reaching implications that continue to shape the region today. In just six days, Israel managed to seize control of the Sinai Peninsula, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, East Jerusalem, and the Golan Heights. These territorial gains significantly expanded the nation's borders, but they also led to the mass displacement of Palestinians from their homes. 
The Six-Day War wasn't just about territorial expansion though, it was also about survival. Israel was surrounded by nations calling for its destruction, and it believed a preemptive strike was the only way to ensure its security. The war ended with Israel's decisive victory, but it also marked the beginning of a new phase in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. In the aftermath of the war, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were forced to leave their homes in the newly occupied territories. This displacement created a refugee crisis that continues to be a major humanitarian issue. Furthermore, the occupation of these territories led to widespread international condemnation and remains a significant hurdle in peace negotiations. The Six-Day War also resulted in the occupation of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, two territories that are home to a large Palestinian population. The Israeli government's control over these areas has been a source of ongoing conflict and tension. Despite numerous attempts at peace talks and agreements, the issue of these occupied territories continues to be a stumbling block. In the years following the Six-Day War Israel's occupation of these territories has been marked by periods of intense conflict and relative calm. The situation in these territories is incredibly complex with both Israelis and Palestinians laying claim to the same land. The occupation of these territories remains a key point of contention in the conflict. In recent years the conflict has seen a shift in dynamics, the age-old Israel-Palestine conflict has been marked with a surge of new developments that have reshaped the way the world perceives it. Notably there's a rising tide of sympathy for Palestinians. This sentiment has been particularly prominent among certain groups, predominantly Democrats in the United States. This shift in empathy doesn't appear out of the blue, it's a reflection of a broader change in public opinion. The role of social media platforms and intersectional activism in influencing this shift cannot be underestimated. These platforms have allowed for the immediate dissemination of information, providing real-time updates on the ground realities of the conflict. They've given voice to those who were once voiceless, enabling the world to witness the human side of this political clash. On the other hand, support for Israel remains robust, particularly among Republicans and Christian evangelicals. The ties between these groups and Israel are historical and deeply rooted, with shared religious, ideological and geopolitical interests. The Gallup poll has brought to light an intriguing facet of this conflict, a growing divide between Republicans and Democrats in the United States. This partisan divide, reflecting the contrasting sympathies towards the Israel-Palestine conflict, has profound implications for future policy decisions. It's important to remember that while public opinion is shifting, the realities on the ground are complex and multifaceted. The interplay of historical, religious and political factors makes this conflict a challenging puzzle to solve. As we stand in 2024, the path to resolution remains uncertain. The dynamics are ever-evolving, and the future of this conflict like many others, is contingent on numerous unpredictable factors. But one thing is clear. The voices of those directly affected by this conflict are louder and more influential than ever before, shaping the narrative and possibly the course of future events. So where does this leave us in understanding the Israel-Palestine conflict? We began with the Balfour Declaration and Mandatory Palestine, a time when Britain's promise set the stage for tension. This period saw a significant increase in Jewish immigration to Palestine, which was met with resistance by the Arab population laying the groundwork for the conflict we see today. Next, we delved into the birth of Israel and the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The creation of a Jewish state in the heart of the Middle East sparked immediate war with neighboring Arab countries. This war resulted in an Israeli victory and a significant Palestinian displacement, further escalating tensions. We then explored the Six-Day War and its aftermath, this conflict saw Israel seize control of significant territories including the West Bank and Gaza Strip. The occupation of these territories has led to ongoing disputes and clashes, with both sides asserting their rights to the land. In our discussion of recent developments we highlighted the increasing divide in public opinion, particularly in the United States. Sympathy for Palestinians is at an all-time high, especially among Democrats, reflecting a broader shift in public opinion influenced by social media and intersectional activism. Despite this, support for Israel remains strong overall, particularly among Republicans and Christian evangelicals. As we've seen, the Israel-Palestine conflict is not a simple disagreement between two nations. It is a deeply rooted issue with historical, political and religious dimensions that continue to shape the region's landscape. It's a story of two peoples, both claiming the same land as their own. 
The Israel-Palestine conflict is a complex issue with deep historical roots, and understanding it requires more than just a glance at the surface. 